What is up guys? It's your boy Rick Kakis and today we have a brand new Zur location and inventory review for the weekend of July 14th to the 17th and so let's get started. Now, first things first, Zur is going to be located in the Winding Cove on the EDZ. Alright, let's take a look at what he has. Firstly, for exotics we do have, well the Vigilance Wing is quite a decent uh, pulse rifle for PvP. We have the Frosties, which I actually like quite a bit, and this is a pretty darn good roll. In fact, I think this is better than the roll I have, so I'm just gonna... Go ahead and uh, get that right there. Honestly, the Frosties is a great exotic on because of the neutral game benefits it provides. You simply sprint, it provides ability energy. Then we've got the Insurmountable Skull Fort. Not anywhere near as good of a roll. Um, a fun exotic, but again, you could do a lot better. And then we have the Crown of Tempest. Honestly, a great Warlock exotic, especially for this season. But 19 mobility is just too high, in my opinion. Now let's move on to the weaponry. Uh, we have a Quick Draw Unrelenting Whispering Slab. No, thank you. Grave Robber. Uh, multi Kill Clip World Chase. No, thank you. Triple tap, snapshot sites, no reprive. I'm going to say no. Well, honestly, Wellspring on the Deafening Whisper is actually pretty good. Uh, the one I prefer using has Ambitious Wellspring. Killing Wind is nowhere near as good. So overall, this is kind of just a, a, mi a mid roll. Auto loading demo far future. No, thank you. Firmly planted headstone <laughs> recurring impact. No, thank you. Well, a rapid hit. Slide shot lonesome Aussie isn't terrible. I mean, well, honestly, full bore ricochet rounds. We got that. We got the stat package right here. Full bore for massive range. Ricochet rounds for even more range. Gonna offset a bit of that stability loss. Uh, then you've got rapid hit and slide shot. Slide shot especially boosting the range even more. And then. A, a range masterwork, guys. This thing, it, it, it already has 74 range. That's gonna be even more so when you put all this stuff on. This is going to be one of the most insane high range sidearms you can possibly get your hands on. So, if you are a sidearm fan, especially for PvP, this actually isn't a bad pickup. This is something you may want to try out because you're gonna be sniping people with this thing. Holy crap! Now, to check the two weapons on the back here, we have a Hawk Moon here with surplus. Uh, generally pretty trash, but I always should mention surplus is technically how you get the best PvE DPS because it improves your reload, which obviously means you can shoot more of those powerful last rounds. Uh, moving on from there, we have a dead man's with fourth times. No, thank you. I think last week both of these were cracked. This week, not so much. Now, as for the armor, we have the uh, Gen Genshin Impact Night Helm. Let me take a look at uh, how rare this thing is. Alright, so the Genshin Impact set was actually originally introduced back with Vanilla Destiny 2. It was reintroduced in Season 15, and Light.gg classifies this as rare, with around 27% of Guardians uh, having this set. So, uh, the vast majority of players still don't have access to this, so absolutely pick it up if you want to use it uh, to dismantle and unlock its fashion. And it does look like a pretty cool set. Now, as for uh, the stat rolls, on the gauntlets you know not terrible 64 but definitely could do better here with the stat distribution um 66 here with huge recovery and discipline i wish that recovery was moved up one into resilience uh, but still a good piece nonetheless um this helmet is phenomenal 66 uh, massive resilience spike, which is what you want in a Titan. We follow it up with uh, intellect, which is pretty good. Disciplines getting a feature there. Only two mobility and strength. This is a very, very good helmet. Like most new players should be picking this up for sure. And then another banger here: 63 resilience, discipline, recovery. And like this, these two pieces are are very, very, very good. A lot of people should really be picking these up. Uh, moving on from there, let's check the hunter. All right, for the Hunter, I guess I usually do Warlock, but let's do Hunter. Uh, 62 with high recovery, discipline, and strength here. You know, pretty all right gauntlets there. Um, 63 with quite a, a spiky uh, distribution here, resilience and intellect. But funny enough, like we got plus six for everything else. Like, not not terrible, honestly. Uh, then for the helmet, 63. <laughs> pretty much everything other than strength has got a little something, something. And, and that's honestly not terrible. Like, one tier to everything. A little, two to intellect and then none to strength. Uh, and then lastly, 
Well, you got a huge resilience spike here, a little bit of mobility, which you do want, discipline, not bad, like nothing that really blows me away here, but uh, these pieces really aren't terrible either. Uh, let's switch over to the Warlock. All right, for the Warlock, let's see this gauntlet, uh, 64, not really too spiky, kind of an average piece. Kind of the same story here, but 63. The helmet, 66, huge spike in strength, but overall kind of mid. And then 64, way too much mobility, unfortunately. Uh, so guys, overall, not the most insane weekend. Uh, definitely pretty decent pair of frosties that a lot of people should consider getting. And then the two good Titan pieces, but that's about it. And the mega range lonesome if you want. Guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.